If you're in the market for a sports car with great performance, great handling, good reliability, then a Porsche 911 has always been a good place to start. But do you buy the Carrera or the Carrera S or the Turbo or the GT2? Or this, the GT3 RS 4 litre, the latest Porsche to go on sale? We're here at Silverstone, we're going to give it a try. So communicative. You think you've overshot a corner, you can give it a bit more pressure on the brakes and you can feel exactly what the front's doing. It's not gonna suddenly wash out into understeer. It's also got the ceramic brakes which are just unbelievable and don't fade at all no matter how much you use them. You can really, really feel the extra 50 horsepower over the 3.8. Just completely unflappable. It's like driving a racing car. But if I sold my house and I robbed a bank, maybe I'd have my own. Maybe I could just drive up in this one. In some ways, as impressive as this car is on the racetrack, and believe me, it is impressive, it's the fact that you can just take it out as we have now. We're out on the road. Yeah, the suspension's a bit firmer than you would get in most other cars, but it's actually not too bad. When you compare it to something like a track special Caterham or Westfield or Atom, admittedly they're cheaper to buy, but no, they don't have a stereo or aircon. That is really where the GT3 has always come into its own, right from the first Mark 1 boot to this 4 litre version, is the diversity that it offers you. Um, you can use it as a weekend tour, you can use it to commute to work if you want. It'd look like a bit of a burp, I have to say, with the big rear wing and the stickers, but it can be done. So that's that then, the Porsche GT3 RS 4 litre, exceptional on the track, perfectly practical as a road car. Porsche is unfortunately limiting production to 600 cars, and those 600 people who are buying them, all I can say is, you lucky b****.